There are 30 to 5 to 40 active certified profilers in the United States, with most of them being at the FBI level at the BAU. This statistic was published in 2020 by the Federal Bureau of Investigations. This summer, I was an intern with the South Carolina Law Enforcement Division, also known as SLED, and the Behavioral Science Unit, or the BSU. After graduation, I plan to take my major in psychology and my minor in criminal justice to go to grad school to become a forensic psychologist. As a step towards my future career goal, I experienced one of my best, biggest accomplishments thus far in life, and that was working alongside some of the nation's only state-level profilers. As I said before, most of the profilers in the U.S. are at the FBI national level. In South Carolina, I worked alongside four certified profilers, and they've also been called to neighboring states such as North Carolina and Georgia, as those states do not have state-level profilers. So, not only was this a typical internship, but they allowed me to have on hands-on experiences by looking at autopsy reports, cell phone records, I looked at uh, crime scene photos, I was able to work on a genealogy case where I took a small piece of DNA from the suspect and tried to match it to uh, different generations of that uh, DNA and see if any of those relatives could have had any part in the victim's uh, death. I was like where they lived, how far, how accessible it was to get to the victim. And I was also able to do a lot of research to help them. They like to really base their profiling on research. So I was able to do a lot of that, read letters to the governor, see if there was any apparent threat. Um, just different hands-on experiences that really allowed me to learn of what it would be like every day as a profiler. So I wanted to take this internship in the field to make sure it was something that I would enjoy doing every day for the rest of my life. And after this experience, I know that I don't want to be a certified profiler, but I do want to work in the field. And as my next step, I plan to work and the Criminal Psychiatric Hospital in Columbia and do kind of the next step of what the profilers do and have a one-on-one -on -one, um, experience with the criminal instead of they find the criminal by their profiling skills and I would be the one to diagnose and take that report to court. But that's definitely been my biggest accomplishment was being an intern at the Behavioral Science Unit in SLED.